We begin at 6 with new details on a deadly officer-involved shooting that happened in a Buda neighborhood yesterday morning. A suspect was shot and killed by a deputy after showing up at his ex's house armed with knives. Fox 7 Austin Jessica Rivera spoke with neighbors today and has the latest from Buda. A neighbor was able to confirm with us the name of the suspect who was shot by Hayes County deputies as Kenny Estrada. Estrada had prior felony charges related to domestic violence. Neighbors in the Hunter Creek Cove neighborhood still in shock this weekend after seeing the street filled with police cars and SWAT on Friday. It's shocking. And it's, it's one of those things that lets you know that mental illness is real. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office say around 8 Friday morning, a 911 call came in about a man attempting to break into his ex-girlfriend's home armed with two knives. Neighbors who identify the suspect as Kenny Estrada say he was holding two large kitchen knives. When deputies arrived, they say he ignored their orders to drop the knives and they shot and killed him. It was just really hectic, like everything happened super fast. According to court records, Estrada was charged with seven felonies in the past. In 2021, Estrada was charged with aggravated assault to a family member and had a weapon. But those charges were later dropped by the family member. A neighbor reached out to the victim who says Friday wasn't the first time Estrada had caused trouble. She said that, that you know, that this has been an ongoing situation. So, you know, uh, she doesn't mess with him. They were not in a relationship now. He was an ex-boyfriend from years ago. So it's that's what I know about that there. According to Safe Alliance, domestic violence can happen to anyone. In 2022, about 200 Texans died to intimate partner violence. We know that domestic violence isn't just physical violence. It could include emotional, financial, or other types of control. And so I think that's why it's hard to kind of compare what the trajectory is like because we're learning so much about it. If you believe to be a victim of domestic violence, there are resources. We'll share them on our website. Reporting in Buda, I'm Jessica Rivera, Fox 7 Austin News.